I went to the Dodgers game the other day, just one day after Chase Utley announced he's retiring at the end of the 2018 season. At the end of this year, I'm going to retire, um, and I'm, I'm excited about that opportunity. Came into the game as a pinch hitter and... <laughs> Dodgers fans absolutely adore him. It got me thinking. Why does everyone care so deeply about Chase Utley one way or another? Chase Utley, a two-out, tenth-inning home run. Up the middle, Utley, good play. Chase Utley going hard at second. This is Chase Utley. So let's back up. Utley was drafted 15th overall in the 2000 MLB Amateur Draft by the Philadelphia Phillies. The same year Adrian Gonzalez and Adam Wainwright got the call. I was only 7 years old. He made it to the show 4 years later and I was still in elementary school on the other side of the country. So it's kind of easy for me to miss what has seemingly been an important part of baseball in the early 2000s. When you think of polarizing baseball figures of the early 21st century, some big names pop up. Jeter, Pujols, Mariano. When you think of Utley, he's kind of that second tier of guys like Teixeira or Beckett. But there's something different about Chase Utley that lasts even to this day. And to understand it, we have to go back to before he was even officially in the majors. Major League Baseball started hosting what they called the All-Star Futures Game in 1999. The game showcases the best prospects in the minors, which has presented guys like Kyle Schwarber, Bryce Harper, and Mike Trout in recent years. Well, in 2001, Chase Utley represented Philadelphia. That one hit in the air by Utley deep to right field. Warning track and wall, and goodbye home run Utley back to back on back to back pitches. Chase Utley's two for two, his second RBI, and he gets the homer. Utley hit back-to-back -back home runs with Devil Rays prospect Toby Hall, a guy I had never heard of, but he won Futures Game MVP, led Team USA to victory, and ended up playing nearly 700 Major League games. But anyway, less than two years later, Utley picked up his first big league hit. To do some damage here, bases loaded, two outs. Long oh. drive, could it be? It is out of here! Brand slam! Welcome to the show, Mr. Utley. One hit, one standing ovation, one curtain call. He took off from there. Over the next six seasons, from 2005 to 2010, it was hard to argue there was a better second baseman in the game. Batting nearly 300, one of the best at getting on base, an A-plus defender, and stole bases at an insane success rate. But remember when I said, why does everyone care so deeply about Chase Utley one way or another? Well, that's where the New York Mets come in. The Mets hate Chase Utley. To begin with, he's hit 39 home runs against New York, more than any other team. He's hit more home runs at Citi Field than any other visiting ballpark. He hits the Mets so hard, right field is known to locals as Utley's corner. Then there's the Mets' worst nightmare in August of 2007 that led to the collapse of their entire season. Line drive hit the right field. Here comes Iguchi. The throw the play. Yes, yes. Bills win 11 to 10 out of an RBI single by Chase Utley. What a huge win. What a huge series for the fight Bills who sweep the New York Mets. Eight years later, now as a member of the Dodgers, it was the 2015 NLDS, and Utley did this. There's one, and they will not get the double play. Wow, to Chase Utley go in hard at second as the tying run scores. Tejada looked like a receiver coming over the middle, having his feet knocked out from under him by a defensive back. Check this out. This is going to be a tough turn anyway. The ball behind second base, he was going to turn that way to make a throw. Utley got off with a great secondary lead, and he gets right there to break up the double play. Didn't even start sliding till he was even with the bag. 
That infamous play broke Ruben Tejada's leg and eventually led to what was known as the Chase Utley rule. Two days after the play, Mets fans greeted Utley like this when the series shifted to New York. Number 26, infielder Chase Utley. So it's kind of easy to understand why New York hates him. Chase Utley's career is obviously not what he used to be. In recent years, he's taken a back seat and has served as more of a living legend of baseball knowledge for the Dodgers. But he has this weird lore around him, kind of like he isn't really a baseball player, but more of a niche cultural icon. There was this entire scene in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia dedicated to him for crying out loud. Did you write a love letter to Chase Utley? Is that in a lot of ways, yes, I do love him, but that is not a love letter in the way that you're thinking of it, okay? There's nothing sexual or... Okay, that sounds good. Pal I'm gonna read, around. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, read it. He's got a sneaky sense of humor, too. Before he officially announced retirement, he joked with reporters. Just want you guys to know that uh, I've signed a five-year extension here with the Dodgers. <laughs> Even though he's always been a nose-to-the-grindstone type player, when the Phillies won it all in 2008, he said... World champions. World champions. The debate around if Chase Utley is a Hall of Famer is an entirely different subject, and we won't even get into it. But love him or hate him, he never really cared. He just went about his business and got the job done. And that's all he ever really wanted to do.